screen muzzle handling work that you can do if your dog is nervous about hands reaching towards them or nervous about being touched around their face or their head. And the reason I like to focus on this is because many dogs who need to wear a muzzle um, aren't comfortable having people reaching toward them, you know, touching them around the ears and around the head. And um, so when we put the muzzle on them, uh, it can be stressful. And that's just because to put a muzzle on a dog involves having to touch them and reach for them. And so by doing this work ahead of time, uh, even before working on putting the muzzle on the dog, first of all, um, it's always a good idea to work on handling and to desensitize dogs to reaching hands and touching around the head and the face. But you're also going to ensure that uh, you're not going to be adding any stress onto the training process. So, you know, the whole goal is throughout the entire training plan that the dog is comfortable and okay and feeling safe. And no matter how big of a positive association the dog may have to the muzzle, they're not comfortable with hands and their body stiffens up when uh, they see your palms reaching toward their face, you're still gonna have a level of discomfort. So uh, <laughs> this is Nigel, and Nigel, as you can see, is <laughs> completely fine. Um, but I wanted to use him as a demonstration just to work through and to show you the examples of the steps um, that you can do to work with a dog. And since Nigel is completely okay with all of the steps, um, I can just show you them, and then you'll know how to work through the training plan with your dog. Uh, the goal here is that you don't want to move ahead to the next step in the training plan until you see very clear evidence of a happy, loose body uh, and uh, a positive association with the activity uh, with your dog. And of course, a very good example would be Nigel right now. He's very excited and invested in the process. So what I'm going to do down. So the first step is just practicing reaching. And what I like to do is to angle my body away at first. So I have treats in this hand. This hand's empty. And I'm just going to reach yeah, and give a treat. Reach and give a treat. I'm not touching him. And the reason I'm angling my body away and avoiding direct eye contact is because both of those things can be intimidating and stressful for dogs. And by starting out this way, it's a very non-threatening, relaxing way to start the training process. And the other thing I'm doing is I'm angling my hand underneath his chin as opposed to reaching over him. Your dog may be different, but for many dogs, um, starting out this way is again, more comfortable and less stressful than having a hand looming over them. Yeah. So since again, Nigel is okay <laughs> with this part of the process, the next step for your dog would be angling in. And so now you're reaching, but you're facing them and a little more stressful for dogs that are averse to handling. Um, and that's just because, um, you know, I'm facing him, I'm making a little more direct eye contact, and I'm reaching into his space a little more. But again, we're going so slowly, and we're doing this step by step that he doesn't get stressed out. So if your dog, um, whoa, excuse me, <laughs> if your dog is uncomfortable with this, drop back down to the previous step. Just gonna get some more cookies. Uh, an example of uh, a really common example if the dog isn't comfortable is just a slight flinching away or moving away when you reach for them. So that's something you don't want to see. You don't want to push ahead if you see that. Yeah. Okay. So next step is adjusting. So now you're going to reach your hand and you don't have to face directly toward them for this one. Again, you can always angle back to the side if your dog is a bit more splitty, <laughs> meaning your dog needs to have very incremental steps in the training plan. So now what I'm going to do is reach to the side. So again, we're going very gradually. 
and I'm still not touching him that much. I'm reaching toward him, but I'm not grabbing his collar, not doing a lot of restraint. It's just the reach. And I'm following each one up with the cookie. And of course, if you uh, were able to, if your dog uh, is doing well with this exercise, you can always angle in and face them. But you can see Nigel has lots of space behind him and to the sides, so I'm not cornering him. And even for Nigel, yeah, even for Nigel, who uh, you know is very comfortable with me handling him, I don't want him to feel cornered. I always want him to have the option of saying he's not comfortable and getting some space or just taking a break from the training procedure if he needs. So I always want to have him have control over uh, you know, whether we do the training or whether he needs a break. <laughs> yeah. Um, Nigel is, is still really comfortable with this. So next step would be hand above. So that would be reach, hand above, just like that. I know Nigel's angled a little bit in toward me, but when I reach my hand out, I get a nice big lip lick. So I know that he's anticipating cookies when I do this. Good. And again, you can do the angling out or the angling in. Um, once you get to this point, um, you can practice standing. Um, so you don't always have to be kneeling down. Um, again, standing can be a bit more intimidating for some dogs. So then you just go through the same process, facing away, facing toward them, and doing the reaching. But of course, you're standing. Um, and you can do this in different areas of the house. You definitely don't have to power through uh, for an extended period of time even if you did little, little snippets of two to three minutes of practice, um, you're gonna see it's actually better to do small chunks, little sessions, um, and do them throughout the day. And of course, have a very high value treat um, and make sure that uh, the dog is, is really, really well paid every time that you reach your hand. Um, and this is gonna be, going to be really helpful and I would I recommend even if you think that your dog is fine even if you think that your dog is okay with handling do a few of these exercises and really make sure that they're okay reaching because when it comes time to having to put the muzzle on the dog um, whether you do it a vet tech does it you want them to be okay with hands reaching toward them and you don't want that to be a trigger right okay good boy Nigel